well, I was quite hard. Um, I was going home on, I'd say, Thursday, and then Friday I'd come around and I wouldn't come home for three, four days. Might come back to Tuesday or the Monday, it depends. And even at that, I wouldn't, wouldn't even come home during the day. It would be about three o'clock at night when I come home from, you know, session. <laughs> and um, I, I kind of used drugs to mask how I really felt. Like, I, I was very depressed and I was a, what you'd call a sheep. I'd follow the crowd. I was never a man for, you know, saying no, because I always felt if I said no, then I'd be looked down upon. So I took a lot of drugs and masked a lot of pain. And that led to a lot of bad situations at home, really. You know, um, it was hard for me because even though it was destroying me inside, I knew I was a bad person and the things that I was doing were bad, but I just didn't have, I think I destroyed my own conscience by allowing people to tell me who I need to be when I couldn't even think of who I was at that time. But yeah, and yeah. I spent uh, spend quite a long time trying to find out who I was in in other people instead of actually looking for who I am inside of myself. Well, at first you're quite you're quite nervous because you don't know what's going to to be said, and you you get told what's going to be said, but it's kind of. I don't know, you really have to wait until you're there. But for me, I was very nervous always walking in there, even though I knew the people and they respected me and they, they thought very highly of me. It was always a nervous thing. And uh, other than that, the, the meetings were great. They, they actually quite helped me because other people were given their opinions and I hadn't seen an actual adult opinion of who I am or what I am. And once you really just look at yourself objectively and that's what these they tend to do they uh, kind of take you out your comfort zone and make you see the person you are or could be always always i think um with metal they they always always have your best what's the word best um your your best intentions in heart. They always look to better you as a person and make you understand that you aren't this horrible person that you believe that you are or thought you were because no one, no one is a horrible person. They just make horrible decisions and everyone can change that. And metal for me changed exactly how I thought of myself, who I thought I could be in life and just gave me a goal you know, that, like I, I spent so many times in a hospital, you know, where I was just either after overdosing or tried to kill myself in some way. And from metal, it made me a stronger person, made me believe in myself for once where I, I struggled to, even today, I struggled to believe in myself. But with metal and how they helped me, I just think that there's nothing I can't do. Well, I don't go out on sessions and I don't drink, I don't, I don't drink and I won't take drugs, but well, everyone has their medicine, like, you know, um, but I think my life in general after metal has just, because it made me think differently, it went on a scale from how good can I actually get this? How, how good can I make my life in general? And that, that's what I've done. My whole life is fantastic i've never felt as happy today as i have ever um i have a short one-to-one -one meeting before the major metal meetings so people as in i don't know uh, tony meet up with tony just before the metal or a couple of weeks before that so then you can explain to him and explain how you feel before you go into this meeting with people that are all obviously there for you but sometimes people can be nervous of obviously what what's going to happen like i always do metal is like i don't know all my friends when they ask me oh what 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 have you done the last couple of weeks you know i'd be like gone to metal i have metal meetings 
they, they, they help me through everything and all of my friends respect this and they don't even know what the place is they, they know that I used to go on these metal meetings and that's it but they they understand from doing these meetings that I became this this person that I am today with intelligence intellect and can actually think for myself you know I'm not just following a crowd I control the crowd you know what I mean and I think yeah I think every every person needs metal. I think even if it's only for a short time, everybody needs at least a small experience in metal.